this is it. The final episode of the Yugi Mons. After so much thinking and a whole bunch of training, we have our final team here. So let's introduce you to them. Starting off with Guilford the Lightning as our Thunder or Electric type. I prefer the sprite to this one over XYZ Dragon Cannon. He's a bit of a tank and definitely takes me back to the beginning of our journey when we first got him. Next up we have Black Luster Soldier. Probably like my favorite monster here. It's just the normal type, but it's such a high physical attacking monster. Next up, of course, we have our Exodia. Exodia! Obliterate! Its moveset is a bit shit to be honest, but uh yeah, its stats are insane. Just a psychic type, but adamant nature kinda sucks. Next up we have Thousand Eyes Restrict as a ghost rock type. I think it just looks so cool and it's got a sick moveset as well. For our fire type, I've gone with the Winged Dragon of Ra as our only Egyptian god here. And finally, we have Mudball Man as a ground water. Mudball Man in defense mode! Its attack stats aren't that high, but you know, it's got a good moveset as well. Hoping I don't need to use Explosion, but that's there just in case we actually need it. But yeah, everything is level 55, and I have tried to focus on a decent amount of type coverage. Most likely, we're still kind of going to be under-leveled for the full thing, so that might make it a little bit more difficult. We'll see how far we can get without using any items. And I will say, there's like no good grass types in the game. So this is our final squad that's going to see us through to take the title of King of Games. I'm very interested to see how this is going to compare to our Nuzlocke playthrough, but uh, yeah, it's time. It's time to take on the Elite Four. Who are they all going to be? All right, our first opponent is... Yo! <laughs> Pirate Pegasus! Let's go with this eye patch. Yar. It still has the ice theme going on, but I highly doubt it's going to be on like all ice monsters. If anything, I would guess it's got to be Toons, and they have a variety of types, so I think... It's probably smartest to just start off with the BLS. No idea why I'm putting so much thought into this, but uh, let's do it. Welcome to the Pokemon League, my boy. I hope you're ready for some fun, because all the rules of Duel Monsters are about to change. Welcome to Toon Land. <laughs> Dude, this sprite for Pegasus reminds me of literally one thing. Our first monster of the Elite Four is a Manga Rear Ran, obviously very fitting for Pegasus, level 52. And that's going to scale up pretty quickly, so uh, I think this might be a struggle for us. But uh, Manga Rear Ran is a fire type, so after we fake out with BLS, Earthquake is going to wipe the floor with it. Next up, we have a Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon, also at level 52, so chucking out the Ra here is going to absolutely demolish it with the Dragon Claw. Yeah. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's about what I expected. As long as we have good type coverage, then we should hopefully be fine. Next up, we chuck out Restrict into a level 54 Relinquished, so it's a little bit weaker than ours, and Ghost is weak to Ghost, so we should be able to just destroy it with a Shadow Ball here. Pegasus is just getting sweeped, come on, man. Oh, we got a Mirror Match on our hands. Both are level 55 as well, so it literally comes down to which one is faster here. Hoping... It's ours, going with the Shadow Ball, and we're faster. Hell yeah, let's go. Next up is a Toon Skull level 52, which I believe is Dark Electric, if I remember correctly. So throwing out Mudball Man here with the ground type, unaffected by electric types. Going with the Earthquake, hopefully get that one shot. Should be super effective. Uh, it didn't quite kill it, it didn't quite kill it. Mudball Man's attack stats are kind of low, so I guess that kind of makes sense. There we go, we are taking it down, still not taking a single point of damage, so Pegasus is literally just getting destroyed. This is going to be Pegasus's final monster, and it's a Toon Dark Magician Girl, which is Psychic type. Woo, there we go, she did strike a crit on us with extra sensory, but she goes down and we haven't lost a single monster. All right, taking us on to our second competitor, it is Joey Wheeler! Okay. Hey, you must be a strong duelist to make it this far. Me and my pals are always ready to draw down. Draw down? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. So show me what you got. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I guess he doesn't remember us from when he sa when we saved him from mind control. Elite Four Joey sent out red eyes. Yo, level 52. This is so cool, man. Oh, I'm, I'm way too excited about this. I'm having so much fun. I'm going to try and sweep Joey's entire team with the BLS. Going to buff him up using sword stance a couple of times and then just one hit KO everything. Next, he sends out the Black Skull Dragon, level 53. Yo, the nostalgia. Yeah. 
Dragon. Oh wow, he's got a Black Meteor Dragon as well. Level 54, did Joey ever summon a Black Meteor Dragon? I don't think he did. I can't remember. It does require Red Eyes as fusion material though, so I guess it makes sense. Ooh, Dark Flare Knight, level 53. Yep, that is an evolved Flame Swordsman. Just gonna get obliterated by Earthquake though. Guilford the Lightning, such a classic Joey card dude against Marek. But uh, yeah, that's also gonna get destroyed by Earthquake. It is electric type. And his final monster, of course, it has to be Jinzo. Let's go, dude. Flipping us off. Fuck the haters. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. Dude, why why did you turn away from me? Why is he turning away? Okay, our third challenge is Oh, that's so disrespectful. Is that Marek? That's <laughs> Joey got done so dirty here. Come on. Great beast of the sky, please hear my cry. Transform myself from orb of light and bring me victory in hey, this check fight. Check it out. Envelop the desert with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. Unlock your powers from deep within so that together we may win. Appear in this shadow game as I call your name. Win the Dragon of Rome! Damn, Marek looking kind of sick though. I'm a little bit worried for this because I can only assume Marek's going to be like on ghost types or something. Lava Golem, okay, that's fine. But we do seem to struggle with ghost types because it's hard to tell what their typing is when they usually have like a second typing. Thankfully, Lava Golem is a fire type, which is weak against rock. So we made the right call putting Restrict up first. Next is a Cum Slime, level 54. I believe that is water. So Guilford the Lightning being the obvious choice here. Going with the Volt Tackle should just be an OTK. <laughs> King of the Skull Servants! Oh shit, level 57! I think this is where things get hard. Oh my god, and it's unaffected. Of course, fighting doesn't affect ghosts, dude. Ah, oh, we're so fucked. Earthquake as well. Oh, our first casualty! Oh no, 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 no! Oh god, of course he gets a crit! Fucking hell, dude. Alright, Surf, please do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, close, close. Go on, please. Oh, so close on oh, the earthquake. Oh, Raz fire and it affects it. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? <sighs> Shit. Thank god for Exodia. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to use items after this. <laughs> we didn't get so far without items. Evil Dark Magician coming out next. Level 54. Okay, BLS should be able to handle this one by himself. Another Cum Slime coming out. Level 56 this time. I don't think we should be too worried about water or ice, to be honest. Oh god, his last monster is the Winged Dragon of Ra. Level 58. This is stronger than our entire team. Oh no, this could be it. We are down to our last option. We're having to sack our Exodia to revive our winged dragon of Ra. Oh god, it all comes down to this. Our only way out is if our winged dragon of Ra is faster than his, and his is three levels higher. Okay, Dragon Claw, please. Oh, we have the speed! We have the speed! Please kill it, please kill it. Oh, thank god! <laughs> thank god we did it! Oh, that's only the third one! I shall claim the Millennium Puzzle. Sheesh! All right, so the final member of the Elite Four, I will definitely... Yeah, there we go. I, I expected it to be Kaiba in place of Lance the Dragon Master. No sign of Yugi yet, which is kind of surprising, but uh, yeah, chucking out Ra is going to be our best option here. Dragon is, of course, weak to Dragon. So you think you're a talented duelist by making it this far? Well, I've got news for you. You're a third-rate duelist with the fourth-rate deck, let's go! <laughs> now, let's get this duel over with. I have a company to run. Yes, dude, Kaiba sent out blue eyes. Alright, let's get it. Level 56 for his first monster. Okay, <laughs> this might be a little bit difficult. Ooh, damn, alright, there we go. There is a one-hit KO on our Dragon Claw, so... Maybe it won't be so difficult after all. Oh shit, there it is. We haven't seen it yet. The five-headed dragon. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh what are you, a fucking owl? Uh, of course he gets a crit, but man, Ra is such a fucking tank. Oh my god, his obelisk is level 60. Holy shit. But Exodia is super effective against fighting and obelisk is fighting, so this should be kind of easy. Lajin comes in like literally every Kaiba structure deck and starter deck. Level 55. Okay, there we go. I was wondering when we would see this thing. XYZ Dragon Cannon, level 58. Chucking the Mudball Man out here because, you know, electric versus ground. Feels good, man. His final monster is the Blue Eyes 
Shining Dragon, level 59. I don't think this was ever summoned in the anime. I think it was more like the Pyramid of Light movie. There we go, BLS, the Dragon Slayer, let's go. Oh wow, it literally references the champion as King of Games, that's cool, I didn't know that. Alright, here we go baby, I have a sneaky suspicion that because we haven't seen Yugi yet, and it is going for King of Games, there we go! Yugi with his Millennium Puzzle, you must be the powerful duelist that I've been sensing. You have defeated many strong duelists to reach this point, but you must not rest yet, as you have one more test to pass. Prove to me that you have mastered the handling of monster, spell, and trap cards. Only then can you become king of games. It's time to do 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 Leader Yugi sent out Dark Magician, level 60 for his first monster. Oh my god. Okay, we can do this. I've been such a little bitch going with the sword stance strat again here with the earthquake knocking Dark Magician clean out. Hell yeah. Oh god. Okay, this changes things. Dark Paladin level 60 is a fighting type, which is super effective against our BLS. I don't want to lose the sword stance. Cross chop, he's faster. Oh god, and we get wiped out. Oh no. Fuck me. Oh shit. Now he's using sword stance. We're so fucked. Oh my god. Okay, psychic doesn't affect Dark Paladin. Oh fuck, because it's dark. Oh, psychic's super effective against fighting, but it's also dark, so it doesn't affect it. Oh, we're so fucked. It's so fast too. Oh no, this could be the end. Cross chop. Seriously? It just one shot Ra? Oh my god! We're literally getting sweeped by Dark Paladin. No way. Okay. I think there's only one way out of this. It's gotta be done. Mudball Man in defense mode. We are relying on Mudball Man being an absolute tank. We're going for the explosion. We have to. Brick break. Okay, please. Don't kill us. Oh, it's close. Explosion. It has to kill it, please. It doesn't have stab bonus. Oh. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh my god, Mudball Man. Your sacrifice is appreciated, it had to be done. Oh my god. Slifer the Sky Dragon, level 61 up next. After a couple of calm minds, Exodia coming in with the sidekick. Oh baby, obliterating the Slifer, let's go. There's no way, dude. Level 63 Exodia. How are we going to beat this thing? Shadow Ball for the win, and it's down. Oh yes. Valkyrion level 58, that is definitely a Yugi card, but I think we have gotten rid of all of the difficult monsters. Yugi's final monster is a level 59. BLS. Oh my god, it's so close. Exodia is our last monster left. It literally comes down to speed, but I already know Exodia is faster. Psybeam to wipe out the BLS. Woo! We are now the king of games. We still got a couple of things to do before finishing here though, so it's not quite over just yet. We need to get into the cave and catch the game's equivalent of Mewtwo, and to do that we need to finish off the Sevi Islands, and while doing that, we can finish off our Yugi decks. Ooh, hello there, alright, Papamoto, I see you. This is on one of the Sevi Islands, looks like we're getting to choose another starter, I guess. Ah, uh, it's you again, my boy. After our gym battle, I knew you were special. Haha, <laughs> I guess I was right as you are the champion. I heard you were coming, so I went and dusted off some of these old monsters I had laying around. So go ahead, they're all yours. Don't mind if I do. You received a Dark Magician. Alright, yeah, so it's literally just the starters. This is how you get the other two that you didn't choose in the beginning. Hell yeah. Dark Magician is the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Yep, just the standard vanilla text. You received a Red Eyes. Well, I guess you get the same starter again, and you received a Blue Eyes. There we go, that's two extra extra slots on the decks, been fulfilled. Virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Man, I used to love it when Simply Unlucky would say that. There we go, that's what I've been looking for. On the final part of Seven Island, I've seen a couple of days kangaroo, but we have Karate Man here. Get in the ball, thank you. The ultimate Karate Master. Careful, he can slice through a stack of 30 bricks. 
No, we can't. Shut up. There we go. The cave has been unlocked and we can now catch the final monster that we do not have. Unfortunately, you can't get the other fossil, which was Exodia Necros and I guess Exodia Necros' head. So we will be finishing with 161 out of 163 monsters cut. Here it is. Here we go. The final legendary. We already know what it is. I've seen so many comments trying to guess what it is. Dude, we already know it's going to be... Oh, there we go. Mew. <laughs> No, it's five-headed dragon. Like, that's literally... We've seen this monster from the start. We're going for the ultimate flex and catching it in a Pokeball just to give us a little bit of a challenge. So there we go. Red bar, level seven, a Pokeball. Boom, baby. Of course, that took a lot more attempts than just one try. I just obviously edited out the rest. <laughs> Got me. A dragon made up of all the elements. This dragon cannot be defeated. Well, I beg to differ. Caught in a Pokeball. All right, this takes us to the final thing we have left to do in the game for now, and that is to duel against Jaden Yuki. This requires all eight badges, so Crowler left, and I don't think he'll be back for a while. Let's have a quick duel. It's time to throw down. Let's go. Jaden starts with a level 52 Mudball Man. Obviously not going to be any match whatsoever for Five-Headed Dragon. It's got really nice type coverage as well. A level 52 Aqua Neos. Level 53 Wild Wingman. Hey, there we go. His favorite monster. Level 55 Flame Wingman. Is it his favorite monster, or is Neos his favorite monster? Dude, I can't remember. Next up is a level 54 Rampart Blaster and finally a level 56 Neos. I guess because this is the highest level it means Neos was his favorite monster. That makes sense but imagine, imagine it was Rainbow Neos dude. Just a normal Neos. Wow. That was a sweet duel. Wow you really know how to get your game on. I guess I still have a lot to learn before I become the next King of Games. And that's it. That's us completely done with the playthrough but not with the game because we're doing our Nuzlocke and the new update comes out with all of the monster sprites redone and custom made, custom moves as well, like I would assume Exodia knows a move called Obliterate and stuff like that. We get shiny sprites as well, shiny monsters. Another like 50 monsters added to the game, including stuff like Gate Guardian, so there's a lot to look forward to. So if you have enjoyed this entire playthrough, please leave a like on the video, and if you're interested in seeing when the update comes out, our Nuzlocke playthrough, maybe even a live stream. Subscribe to the channel and you'll know exactly when that happens. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.